beautiful epoxy projects and swirls? But how? You've probably tried to figure it out with no luck. Or you've seen people do it in like a urethane resin and they've got it down. But how do you do that in your own epoxy project? Look, it's simple, 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 simple. I can't overstate this enough how easy it is. You'll have it mastered in no time. And it's a really fun technique to take your simple, small epoxy project kind of up a notch. It's pretty cool. Look, folks, you know what I'm about to ask you. I'm about to ask you to hit that like button and I'm gonna offer for you to subscribe to get better content. So instead of doing that, let's just move on. First things first, let's set the scene though, okay? There's three things we gotta talk about and that is what material we're using. We're using amazing clear cast. That's our tabletop epoxy. It's a surface coating epoxy. The second thing is we're gonna do our pores at about three eighths of an inch. That's gonna be really helpful for us. We don't wanna over exotherm this. And last but not least, it's about 72 degrees in our shop here. The ambient temperature matters as well, but we'll talk about those things later. To start, go ahead and mix up the material you need for your project and pour it into your mold. If you don't know how to mix up epoxy well, or you just want a refresher, go ahead and check out this video in the corner and we'll get you going. All right, now stop. Seriously, stop. Put down the mixing stick, put down the container, and step away from your project. I'm serious, folks. You're gonna wanna meddle, but you can't. We got 60 minutes where you and I, we need to wait. So set a timer and walk away. Don't meddle, don't touch it. I'm serious, you're gonna wanna do that, don't do that. I'm not kidding. 60 minutes, set a timer. I'm so serious about the 60 minutes because this is the trick. Like this is the important thing that you need to take away. Waiting 60 minutes allows the epoxy to get into a gelled state. That gelled state's gonna hold our swirls better. If we do it immediately, it's just gonna dissipate. And if we wait too long, well, we won't even be able to put the swirls into our project. 60 minutes is that critical time. All right, our 60 minutes is up, so now it's time to put our swirls in. Remember, this stuff is potent, so all we're going to do is get a toothpick, open up our dye bottle, insert the toothpick to pick up a little bit of dye. Then let's take our toothpick and move it around gently through your project. The dye is gonna be a little concentrated in one area, the first area you put your toothpick in. So just remember where that area is, and if you need more dye to go swirl into a new space, go back to that spot, pick some up, and then go over to where you need it. But we have put a little bit of air into this project, and I know we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is just grab our torch or our heat gun, whatever you used originally, and just hit the top real quick, real briefly. Nothing major here, folks. It'll resettle down. Remember how I set the scene a little bit earlier? I told you the material that we were using, the depth of the casting, and the ambient temperature? Well, I did that for a reason. That 60 minutes is based off of those three factors. If you have a thicker casting that you're doing, well, that's gonna shrink the cure schedule because of more heat, and that means you're not gonna have as much time to put those swirls in. Same is true if you use a different material, or if the ambient temperature in your space is like really, really hot, that'll also shrink the cure schedule. You have to pay attention to those factors. So you might have to adjust that timing a little bit if it's really hot in your workspace, or if you're pouring a much thicker casting. We don't recommend that though for Amazing Clear Cast. Thicker pour, warmer workspace, shorter cure schedule, you're gonna have to go faster. Cold workspace, freezing material, shallow pour depth, you can wait a lot longer. Now we'll just wait the full 24 to 48 hours for these puppies to cure. Let's see how they turned out. There you go. You're ready to put beautiful swirls into your epoxy project. If you're gonna do this in one of your projects, we wanna see it and we wanna hear about it. So send us those photos and comment below what you're thinking of doing. If you haven't yet, please like this video and share it with somebody else if you think they'll get something out of it too. Till next time.